right, uh, what we have here is we have three photo bioreactors inoculated with our algae and our F2 media to help uh, grow the algae in this tank right here. This is reactor one, uh, reactor two, and reactor three. Uh, reactor two was just inoculated today. These are samples from Noonan's Lake uh, here in Gainesville, in East Gainesville, uh, directly east of the University of Florida. Uh, this right here is probably the, the more healthy, more mature algae. Uh, the rest of these um, were inoculated yesterday um, and are going well, to it's grow. It's a natural inoculation. Uh, we haven't inoculated any specific this strain one, of algae, but uh, it's the algae which is uh, naturally growing uh, in the in the lake uh, from basically uh, the nutrients which are uh, getting into the lake as a result of agricultural runoff and uh, the people staying around the lake they are discharging the nutrients in the lake so you can see how polluted the lake is so this is our initial uh, setup right now so this is going to grow a lot uh, in the next couple of days we'll see these tanks, uh, the bioreactors growing greener and greener. And the other aim in, in this particular experiment is in the algae photobioreactor number two, we are going to utilize struvite, which is magnesium ammonium phosphate, as a phosphorus source for the algae growth. And well, this is uh, being tried for the first time, uh, to my knowledge, and uh, in addition to this uh, nitrogen and phosphorus source, we add uh, carbonate as the carbon source, basically, and uh, we keep it mixing, give it some air, we have this light here, and uh, what basically we are trying to do is uh, study the kinetics of the growth using struvite. And uh, later we are going to harvest the algae and see what we can use the algae for. That's what the initial setup is right now.